Continuing Professional Development CPD anchors itself to the provision of the Philippine Constitution, specifically Article 14 Education, Science and Technology, Arts, Culture, and Sports, Section 5.4 which states, the state shall enhance the right of teachers to professional advancement. Non-teaching academic and non-academic personnel shall enjoy the protection of the state. Code of Ethics for Teachers, Section 3, Article 4 states, every teacher shall participate in the Continuing Professional Education CPE program of the PRC, and shall pursue such other studies as well as improve his efficiency, enhance the prestige of the profession, and strengthen his competence, virtues, productivity in order to be national and internationally competitive. Republic ACT No. 10,912, Continuing Professional Development Act of 2016 an act mandating and strengthening the Continuing Professional Development Program for all regulated professions, creating the Continuing Professional Development Council and appropriating funds, therefore, and for other related purposes. Continuing professional development refers to the process of tracking and documenting the skills, knowledge and experience that you gain both formally and informally as you work beyond any initial training. It's a record of what you experience, learn and then apply. In education, the term professional development may be used in reference to a wide variety of specialized training, formal education, or advanced professional learning intended to help administrators, teachers, and other educators improve their professional knowledge, competence, skill, and effectiveness. Continuing professional development is important because it ensures you continue to be competent in your profession. It is an ongoing process and continues throughout a professional's career. Continuing professional development refers to the inculcation of advanced knowledge, skills and ethical values in a post-licensure specialization or in an inter- or multidisciplinary field of study, for assimilation into professional practice, self-directed research and or lifelong learning. Republic ACT No. 10,912, Continuing Professional Development Act of 2016, Asterisk PRC Resolution 1032, Series of 2017 Implementing Rules and Regulations, IRR, of RA 10,912, Asterisk PRC Resolution No. 1146, Series of 2019 New Implementing Rules and Regulations, IRR, of RA 10,912, Professional Regulatory Board of Professional Teachers Resolution No. 11. Series of 2017 Statement of Policy. The state recognizes the vital role of teachers in nation-building and development through a responsible and literate citizenry. Towards this end, the state shall ensure and promote quality education by proper supervision and regulation of the licensure examination and professionalization of practice of the teaching profession. Professional Regulatory Board of Professional Teachers Resolution No. 11, Series of 2017, CPD Providers, Matrix of CPD Activities Professional Track, Academic Track, Self-Directed, Productive Scholarship and Other Activities to be recommended by the CPD Council, Board and Commission, Maximum Creditable Units under Self-Directed or Lifelong Learning, Major Areas of CPD Activities Ethics 5 Units, Professional Development 40 Units. Continuing Professional Development CPD is accepted as an integral part of teacher education because only a continuing learning and training assures a high level of expertise and enables the teachers to keep their professional skills and knowledge up to date. CPD should not be regarded only as an obligatory activity just to meet the required 45 credit units. NEEP is a CPD provider for professional teachers, since December 2017 CPD accreditation no. PTR 2017115, Focal Person, John Arnold S. Siena, Dep. Ed. Regional Offices as NEEP Extensions as CPD Provider PRC Resolution No. 1146, Series of 2019, New Implementing Rules and Regulations IRR of RA 10912, implemented during transition period while antecedent requirements are being complied for full implementation OFWs are not covered by the CPD requirement, newly licensed are not required in the first renewal cycle, only 15 CPD units are required for renewal unless in their respective laws units required are specified. 
In-house trainings of both government and private employers shall be considered accredited and CPD compliance of employers. If no response is received after 10 days, they are considered approved. New PRC forms, completion forms, soft copies of documents required, online CPD application still in progress. CSC resolution number 1,800,923. Attendance in CPD courses and renewal of PIC on official time. New operational guidelines will soon be released. Released. Document preparation for PRC CPD accreditation pre application 1. Instructional design 2. Specific objectives assessment program of activities form 3. Evaluation tools specific for the course objectives. 4. Program of activities showing time, duration of topics, workshop 5. Resume of resource persons, RPs, speakers for program applied for, showing expertise in the topic, S, show certificates or citations, if any, 6. Current professional identification card, PIC, of RPs, speakers if registered professionals, if foreigner, current special temporary permit, if applicable. Nobody should have an expired or expiring PIC on the date of conduct of the CPD activity. They should already renew if they are to be retained as speakers. 7. Breakdown of expenses for the conduct of the program even if the program or activity is free of charge 8. PRC application for accreditation form 9. 4. 4. Documentary stamps and a short brown envelope, plus a pre-paid pouch preferably from Philpost for applications filed in regional offices only. During conduct of activity. Use the sample certificate of participation and attendance sheet. Documentation of the activity is recommended. This may form part of the completion report. Post application. After the conduct of the program or activity, the following must be submitted. 1. Completion report form, with two documentary stamps attached, no need for notarization. 2. List of participants, name and PRC license number. 3. List of lecturers, resource speakers, etc. Name and PRC license number. 4. Actual program of activities. 5. Summary of evaluation of speakers in tabular form. List of documents for PRC CPD accreditation application. All documents are placed inside a folder according to this sequence. 1. PRC application for accreditation form 2. Instructional design 3. Specific objectives assessment program of activities form 4. Evaluation, assessment tools 5. Breakdown of expenses 6. Resumes and professional identification cards picks of resource persons, speakers and a short brown envelope plus, a prepaid pouch preferably from Philpost for applications filed in regional offices only. Important note, both soft and hard copies of the above-mentioned documents must be submitted to PRC. Soft copies in PDF shall be saved in compact disk rewritable CDRW. Hard copies shall have same paper size. Important, NEAT must submit all the documents required by PRC strictly 45 days before the start of the activity. All documents required for PRC CPD accreditation must be submitted to NEAP Central Office or DEP Ed Regional Office 60, 60 days before the actual start of the activity. If applications are submitted and passed through the DEP Ed Regional Office, applications will be filed accordingly at the PRC Regional Office. If additional requirement, S is, are needed, a period of seven days is given by PRC to submit the same. Failure to comply within the period shall be construed as abandonment of application and the prescribed fee shall be forfeited in favor of the government. Important, representative, S filing application, S for accreditation and claiming the certificate of accreditation in behalf of the applicant must present a letter of authorization and valid identification cards of both the authorized signatory and the representative. List of PRC accredited CPD programs may be checked at the PRC website, www.prc.gov.ph. Completion report is submitted to PRC 30, 30 days after the conduct of the CPD activity. NEEP CO, DEP Ed Regional Office requires its submission 15, 15 days after the conduct of the activity to give time for checking and review of the supporting documents.